What's up, guys? Welcome back. Um, how's quarantine treating you? If you are currently in quarantine, uh, for me, you know, it's going. The weeks just seem to be passing. Uh, so it's Wednesday today, if you're listening to this, the day I released it. And I think Wednesday is going to be my day that I post these for no particular reason. Just that's kind of how it's been working out. So I'm going to keep that up, hopefully for a while. Um, But yeah, let's just get right into it. So a couple days ago, I watched the movie Parasite, which I want to talk about. Because uh, if you don't know it, It won Best Picture at the Oscars this past year, or this year, however you word that. So I wanted to check it out. I usually try to watch the Best Picture every year. I can't remember what what won the year prior, but for some reason I don't think I watched it. But I usually do try to catch them uh, just to see what they're all about. And this one, Parasite, I heard really good things about. Uh, Going into it, though, I knew nothing about it. I didn't watch a trailer. Uh, I didn't really get it explained to me by anybody because I didn't want to. I usually like going into things like movies, uh, not really knowing much about them. So I don't really watch trailers anymore. If I do, it's like 20 seconds of one, and then I stop if I know... Because by then I'll know if I want to watch it or not. And then if I don't do that, uh, I'll just base it on like the director, the actors, or maybe just recommendations. That's how I choose how I watch my movies. So going into this movie, Parasite, I definitely, I didn't have many expectations. I had some, you know, pretty much just based on the title and the the picture for it, you know, that, like, the main picture, whatever that's called. I honestly have no idea. But, yeah, right when I got into it, all my ex- all my expectations were pretty much completely thrown out the window. Uh, I knew it was going to be something I have never seen before. I mean, that's partially because it's in Korean it takes place somewhere in South Korea, I think. That would be my guess. I, they don't actually say. I'm not 100% positive. But it is in Korean. So you have to read subtitles, which isn't that big of a deal. You get used to it pretty quickly. But, man, this movie was something. Uh, immediately after I finished it, I did not like it. Um it's a very uncomfortable movie, I would say, and there are actually some pretty scary scenes, at least in my opinion. I get scared easily, and it's very suspenseful, like you're constantly on the edge of your seat, which is fine. It's just not my favorite type of movie. I mean, I'll still watch movies like that. It's just never my favorite. And yeah, it just kind of left me feeling weird and uncomfortable immediately after finishing it. Uh, But that's not to say I didn't like it. Because after I watched it, I knew there were some things I was missing about it. Like, I understood its meaning somewhat, but definitely not like all of it. So what I did which is what I do for most TV shows or movie I watch. I uh, looked it up on Reddit, like either for movies, you can just go to our movies and search the movie you want to read about and you can find like discussions, discussion threads for it, which I do for, like I said, movies, TV shows. I would, I was part of the Game of Thrones subreddit uh, pretty much the whole time I was watching the show and it just, it made the show a lot easier to watch. A lot of things that are confusing get explained because when it comes to entertainment, people on Reddit really know what they're talking about. So like when I was watching Game of Thrones, if I didn't read like the episode discussion threads and stuff, 
There would be so much I would have missed. I probably would have been confused more than I already was. And I probably would have stopped watching it, which I know a lot of people did stop watching it because it just got too confusing. But since I would read those discussion threads, I was not only like understanding it, but you know, you get a lot of theory, stuff like that from those discussion threads too. So I don't know. I really like them. I know some people don't, but I definitely do. So I went to go check out the movie Parasite on uh, the discussion forum. And that's when like, I really started to understand the movie for what it was. And it's really just one giant metaphor. It, it's, it's genius. Like once you figure out what exactly it is, I could have watched the movie maybe a second time and figured some of this stuff out, but it really is just jam packed with metaphor, meaning symbols. And I mean, I just keep seeing stuff. It's like, oh, I didn't even notice that. Like, oh, that's true. And it's just like this perfect ball of a movie that is just a masterpiece. It's well shot, well directed, well acted, all of that. So I definitely get why it won Best Picture. And I would definitely recommend it to people. If you're into like filmmaking or like artistic movies, I guess you could call it, or just like suspenseful suspenseful movies because that's what it is and overall after I figured out like what it was about everything that's jam-packed into it I kind of switched how I felt about it it made me I it made me like it I'll probably go back and watch it eventually which I pretty much never do for movies I I just watch them once and then that's it I usually don't have an interest to go watch it again but this one would probably be worth it just so I could catch all those things that I missed. And I mean, it just, it gave me the feeling like a really good book does because that movie really makes you think and it really makes you feel either if you're smart right after it or if you're like me, you have to go get other people's insights into it to really understand it. But either way, it was a good movie and overall i would say go check it out if you're interested it actually got me thinking about the stuff i make too um i mean i make youtube videos obviously they're not movies but i do try to do some of the same things movies try to do but not very successfully and you know I was thinking about that because last episode I talked about a short film contest I wanted to enter, which I actually didn't end up doing uh, for a few reasons, but one of the main reasons was I was asking myself, why am I making this short film? And I mean... The answer was partially to enter the contest and try to win, which is fine. But if you enter a short film contest or just any film contest, I mean, that's always going to be a part of it. But the other part should be because you want to make someone feel something like that's what movies do. That's what videos do. Uh, It's meant to help somebody in some way. I mean, so many movies do it differently. So many videos do it differently. But that's the goal. You make something for other people. And for me, I've always kind of known. It's always been on my head, in my head. But I find myself creating, not thinking about what the viewer or the consumer is going to get out of it more of just me what i'm going to get out of it you know how it's going to benefit me which is not where you want to be because i mean i find myself just thinking like oh i'm going to make a video and people are going to be thinking about me as they're watching it they're going to think i'm funny or cool 
or at the very least not like a total dumbass but that's not where you want to be you want to be thinking about what is the viewer going to get out of it you don't want them to think be thinking about you uh when they're watching it because they probably don't really care about you so you know i asked myself that question like am i really even considering the viewer how they're going to feel what i'm giving to them and the answer was no which is the answer for a lot of the stuff i make it really is selfish i mean to put it bluntly i don't really think about giving them value i just think about bringing value to myself you know luckily i'm starting to realize this and i'm slowly figuring it out like putting the viewer first trying to make something good for them not good for yourself because i think that's what all great creators do they're obsessed with their viewers or their audience they want to give them something special and in that process they put everything out on the line that they have to give and just go at it with complete 100% focus to give them something and not focus on themselves. I mean maybe sometimes they do, but in my head, you know, like people I look up to, they really just they want to make something great not for themselves, but for the people that view it, which is a win-win if you think about it cuz if you're successful in doing that, you do get things that come back to you. Like you get praise, maybe you find success, fame, money, whatever it may be, but it all starts with like that caring for the viewer which i've said a lot now i get that but not you know just focusing on yourself which i've definitely been guilty of doing and like i said i'm starting to pivot which you know i don't know why i do it maybe it's just because i'm selfish which I don't think so. I mean, I'm sure everyone everyone is a little bit selfish, myself included, but I don't think that's why. I think it might just be, you know, I don't know what value I have to give yet. I'm kind of in the process of figuring that out and, you know, it's easier once you figure that out to figure out how you can help or make your viewer feel something. And I mean, maybe just being selfish is kind of part of the process. I'm not sure, but I think I'm trending in the right direction. That's kind of why though I didn't make a short film. I was just kind of reflecting on what I was trying to do, where do I fit in as a creator making things, stuff like that. And the short film was due like yesterday or something, so I mean, I missed the cutoff. I don't know if I would have finished what I was trying to finish anyways, but it, that all kind of came slowly to me and just watching Parasite just because it's so well made it's such a love for the craft of filmmaking that it got me thinking about that and it's good to think about I think if you continue to listen to this podcast or maybe you already think it you might think I'm pretty self-critical I'm hard on myself which is true to some extent but that's not to say that I don't like myself or I'm not confident in myself because I am like I maybe even to a fault I really do believe in myself but a lot of the things I try to did, try to do are hard things and it's important to learn from your shortcomings not from your successes so you know I'm just always so much more focused on where I'm failing rather than where I'm succeeding. Maybe to a fault, I don't know. But it's not like I'm defining myself by these failures because I don't and I think it's really important not to because they're gonna add up and it's as simple as just learning from it and not, like I said, letting it define you. And that might be what separates people who succeed from people that don't in in hard in doing hard things whatever that may be whether it's trying to become a creator or 
a YouTuber or something completely different, like trying to run for political office. I don't know. I don't know what that's like. It sounds hard, though. So that's why I kind of come off as very critical of myself or even like kind of depressing. Uh, I don't think I am, though, too self-critical. I just I want the best for myself. And I think you have to get real every once in a while to achieve that. So that's what I'm doing. I'm kind of walking myself through it with this podcast. And maybe there's something you could take from it. Or at least that's the goal. And, you know, in that, I think that's, like I said earlier, I'm I'm trying to find where my value is, like what my value is, what I can give to people that really helps them. And I mean, I think it's important for everybody to figure that out, not just so you know, but so you can do things that, you know, share your value, that help other people. And if you're helping other people, it's probably going to help yourself too, because not only does it feel good to help people, but a lot of the times you could turn it into a career. You can turn it into, you know, what you do every day. And if you do that, I think you can lead a really fulfilling life because not only are you doing what you're meant to do, but you're also helping people. Both of those, I think, uh, are just really good feelings that you can survive off of. So, you know, I'm trying to figure out what it is I can do. And I think part of it, or maybe all of it, is my perspective, which is a broad term, but I think that's where a lot of my value as a person comes from. And I think if you look at a lot of, you know, artists or entertainers, they're just kind of sharing their perspective, whether it's, you know, musicians, filmmakers, comedians, or even just like influencers. Uh, They're all sharing their perspectives in different ways. And the thing is, like, you can't just be like, this is my perspective now watch me or whatever you you have to find a way that you can communicate that to people where they don't even realize it's being communicated to them they're just kind of getting it like take for instance David Dobrik who is one of my favorite creators one of my favorite YouTubers one of just my favorite entertainers in general and he does just vlogs he posts one a week now I mean it was more but They're just, if you break them down, him and his friends doing funny things, or maybe he's giving something away, giving away money or something. But he does this in like a fast-paced way, funny way, you know. At the core of it, though, is in everyone, his perspective on life, I would say. It's, you know, how he views it. It's, It's fun. It's funny. He tries to make the most of it. He's caring, you know, and as you watch these videos... You get a taste of who he is as a person, and not only that, but a taste of what's possible, you know? I mean, I found myself watching his videos just with a huge smile on my face, just happy to be alive. And I would say that's how he feels about life himself, and he's found a way to share this through his videos to other people without them even realizing it. They think they're just watching... A funny bit or you know him giving money to people but it's really you know a lot more than that in a simple way and then same with music same with movies they're all making a comment on life in some way or another and that comes from the artist or the filmmaker or whatever like it's their perspective that they're sharing which is in turn their value Does that make sense? Because it doesn't fully make sense to me. But you get my point. Um, That's just what I've been thinking about a lot lately. Because I'm not 100% sure 
what I'm doing on my own channel, what I'm doing with my videos, what I'm trying to do. So it's just been on my mind and kind of I've been trying to process that and this is what I came up with. So that was probably a lot, but maybe you took from something from that. Uh, I don't know. Let me know what you think, but I'm going to wrap it up here. What was that? About 20 minutes, which is good with me. So I'll see you guys next Wednesday.